Why am I so nervous? Relax. Okay. You know I will be relaxed you know, after we finish you know this where we're tasting. At? Yeah, we're in the chill lounge, baby. Where? At home. At home. <laughs> so that's the great thing about the chill lounge is you can have a date night in. That's true. And that's exactly what we're doing in tonight's video. We are hosting a couple's night where we taste some of his favorite whiskeys and bourbons and some that I've been wanting to try. So sit back and relax. And as always, thanks for stopping by Lifestyle with Melanie Graves, where I share stylish and creative ideas to help you do what makes you happy in your home. So tonight we're going to try some whiskeys and bourbons. You are a bourbon lover and I am more of a wine vodka girl so after we did this chill lounge room for you last year you kind of said you said wine girl kind of you are you are a wine professional well thank you and congratulations that. on your wine certification thank that was you great. i am a newly double u set certified so thanks thank you yeah yeah so um so yeah so i i really enjoy my wines but he is a bourbon lover and when we did this room for him last year many of you saw that video um he you know i wanted to come in here and, and enjoy the space with him and you know i wasn't into bourbon so he so that's why we did two chairs right right not just one Right. Well, okay. we need to I make mean, this I, a sophisticated I, I, space that yeah. a man would want to come into and chill after a long day, enjoy his bourbon, some music, yeah. and that's good. I, I, I like, I like it. I'm just stating that a couch would have made it a different, a whole different kind of room, right? I think so. Well, I chose the first one. The first one is. Uh, it's a whiskey. It's called Scatter Rain Peanut Butter Whiskey. And it really is just that. Like, I think um, the bottle's cool, first of all. I know that doesn't have anything to do with the way it tastes. But um, for someone who is easing their way into whiskeys and bourbons, this one is like a no-brainer for me because it's, it's like peanut butter in a glass. <laughs> it is... Um... I like peanut butter, so yeah, we're peanut I'm, butter. I'm, I'm partial to it, and I'm, you know, it is, it is good. I mean, it's not a ser serious like whiskey, no. bourbon lover drink. Um, I think it, it makes for some good mix, um, and just if you wanted to have something light to sip on, light. I mean, it really tastes like peanut butter in a glass. It does. It tastes like fall. Like the fall season is my favorite season. So what what would you say if, if you weren't drinking this neat um, that you would do with it for I'd, a fall cocktail? I'd pour it over ice cream. Mm, nice. Vanilla ice cream. She got me. She, <laughs> know, she knows how much I love ice cream. And she's, yeah, that's good. That's... That would be very, very tasty. So I like this one. And a little bit of the reason why is because uh, the Scatterbrain Peanut Butter Whiskey is a Canadian whiskey, but it really does taste like peanut butter. It's got a bold, creamy vibe to it. Um, it's 70 proof, so we're starting out with the lighter proofs moving mm -hmm. into the heavier proofs mm -hmm. and it's got a pretty easy price point at about $19 so, and so for the first question I'll hit you with a super easy one okay I have I have a bunch of is it easy for you or easy for me it's fun it's fun it's fun so it's a would you rather would you rather watch the big game so the Super Bowl with the Buccaneers playing in it yes <laughs> Final answer. Next up, we have Angel's Envy. Angel's Envy is a Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey. And I picked this one out because it was really like my first real bourbon. Um, and I liked it because it tasted like a big girl drink, but it wasn't like too much. Okay, so why I selected Angel's Envy? To start, like, Say again? No, I'm saying the wings on the back. Well, I had that shot. Oh, I had 
have it. <laughs> I have it. I appreciate all the bottles. <laughs> well, you didn't tell me. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I like really beautiful bottles and this one really caught my attention. Um, so that was part of what attracted me to it. And then um, someone in the, the alphabet store recommended it like as a, as a first time mm. bourbon try. So I pick up notes of vanilla. See, last time it was just peanut butter, but this is... No, this is different. More, more complex. There's some berry in there. Small. Caramel. Caramel? Caramel. Oh, yeah. This is, um... This is good. Now, I do remember liking this with ice or just an ice cube. Mm -hmm. So I know that's blasphemy in, in some... Not necessarily. It, okay. it, change, it changes because basically depending on how quickly the, you know, the ice cube melts, you know, you have time to enjoy, you know, the first sip and, you know, a little bit of runoff and you know ice cubes. It's, you know, dependent on the ice cube. So this is a 86.6 .6 proof. Um, and it's a $48 price point. So this is one that I feel like, you know, if you're not quite sure, mm -hmm. um, try it out and see. But I think it's also a great gift. I mean, from, from a gift perspective, you know, um, bourbon lovers would not frown at angels. Um, it's, it's, you know, one a beautiful bottle mm -hmm. has a nice taste mm -hmm. it's something that that um, would be well received on a scale from one to ten what would you rate it I think because of the balance and just the the smooth um, finish I would give it a, at least a seven how about you on the back of this there's almost like a tobacco. Okay. Yeah, I would give it a... S well, see, I haven't tasted as many bourbons as you. So uh, on mine, I, for me, I'd give it probably an eight. Mm -hmm. um, That's what matters is, do you like it? Right. So, you know, um, based on your taste palette, you know, the, the smoothness, what you're looking for in a drink is, is that, that's what really matters. So, so ladies, if you want to ease your way into it without having a flavored whiskey, like the peanut butter whiskey we just tried, I highly recommend you try this one. Um, and then try it first neat. And then if it feels a little too strong, I would suggest a little, little ice cube. <laughs> or you could put just a, a, a couple of drops of water if you want if you want to keep that that temperature mm. because changing the the like making whiskey or bourbon cooler changes the flavor profile oh, okay so when you have it you know at, at room temperature for a little bit higher um you know you you, you can taste the notes and you can taste mm. the flavor so um i think that's why when you start adding ice to it just like just like wine, you know, if, if, you oh, have, yeah. if you have red wine that's yeah. too cold or, yeah. or white wine that's co too cold, it doesn't, it doesn't open up, so. All right, next up, this is one that neither one of us have tried before. Um, mm -hmm. You told me to pick one that neither one of us have tried, and I figured you mostly drink Kentucky bur bourbons, right? Correct. Hmm? This one is made in Florida. This is a St. Augustine, Florida Street bourbon. It's 88 proof at about a $50 price point. And I figured maybe it'd be nice for us to try something for the first time together. Okay. See what we think. So, ooh. 
That smells different than Kentucky bourbons. I feel like there's some rye involved here. Feels more um, fruity, mm -hmm. a little, a little, but not mm -hmm. not like a, a sweet fruit. It's 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 a little more citrusy, and I, I don't it know is. if it's because I'm looking at Florida, but makes sense to me. Mm -hmm. That's eighty eight proof. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so there's like and some cherry on the back end of this or something that that is exact that's right cherry is i i, I do taste that on yeah. the back end this is oh it has a little more alcohol mm -hmm. in the front mm -hmm. and um that's what i was thinking when when we kind of tasted that cherry note. Yeah. I think um, this one would be a, a good one for a old fashioned. Oh. If you want it, you know, and, and because it had that citrusy, you know, smell, putting, you know, kind of that orange um, slice mm -hmm. in the old fashioned and, you know, the, the dark cherries um, would really complement that. And I think that, that that would, you know, that's what that's how I'm gonna have this. Okay. It's in an old fashioned. Okay. I'll let you talk about this one. Well I believe it's 93 proof proof. Um it is eight. It is 93 proof. <laughs> so you're right. So it is you're right. It's 93 proof. It, it's aged for approximately six to eight years, right? Okay. Yes. And, um I would say that if if this this is probably my favorite why um one it's you know th there there's scarcity to it where it's it's it is hard to find but um you know it's coming from the Bu buffalo trace distillery um kentucky bourbon um and it it has you know just a a very good um flavor the the smell it you know vanilla if, if you wanted to go into fall this is this is like you know just deep fall this it is, is this, this is it this is. is where you're you're getting ready for thanksgiving and yeah there's enjoying vanilla. enjoying the family and and honestly you know the the thing i like about this one is because it it, it is something where um it's created stories with my family and and my my cousins my oh, father really? you know I, I have my cousin um up north that that just loves you know and and looks for it you know we'll, we'll text each other when we find something and 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 it's really just one of those things that while it is hard to find um i think the the value of the story is is really there um what's the price point the price point should be hmm should be i believe about 70 dollars okay um now granted people find it and they are going to charge a certain amount yeah. and that's that but um you know I, I believe the the original price point um should be about 60 70 dollars okay um the the great thing about this is you know it has it has the history you know kentucky derby um the 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 horse on top is really you know just signifies kind of you know that environment um collectibles obviously you know that there's um blantons that is spelled out oh um, tell us about using, that actually us, using um every like if every right down cork. here every cork here so um I'm, I'm talking to the bourbon lovers, sure. but if I'm, I'm not, and I'm talking to the bourbon lovers, significant other, <laughs> that's what they're looking for is that, that complete set. The so it, it, it has, it has all the letters from, you know, B all the way down to S and just remember 
the ends are different. Oh. There is obviously know. two ends in Blanton's. Mm -hmm. um, that, you know, that, that last end before this, there's an apostrophe. And that's the hard, one of the hardest ones to find. Oh, so, so the apostrophe is on the end? Mm-hmm. Yep. <gasps> I did not know that. Yep. So. So you need that one, huh? Um, I believe so. I believe there's, so. There's like tertiary notes of leather on the back. Mm -hmm. It's it very, is. it's very complicated. Mm -hmm. I feel like compared to the other ones that we've tasted tonight. Yeah. Yeah. I think, um, you know, obviously there's various documentaries and, and, and tours. That's, that's obviously one of the things I really want to do is a tour of, um, you know, Buffalo Trace Distillery and, and, and just go through the whole, and you know, that whole feel um, of... If any distilleries want to shoot us a sponsorship, <laughs> we're here for it. <laughs> but it's, it's, it's um, I think the quality of, you know, just the bottle and, and everything else, it's, it's one of those things that, um, you know, there is, there is a lot of hype that goes around, um, Blanton's, but I think the actual quality of the the um, of the you know the product is is excellent. With where does the hype come from? With it being like a newer, you said it's like six. It's a newer. That's the brand I, from Buffalo Trace, right? Not, not necessarily. I mean, it's 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 just how long um, you know the it, it's kept in the barrel before it's right it's um you know put put in the bottle um obviously i, I am not the absolute expert on it no. i'm you know three or four years in yeah. so i have to go to kentucky to find out everything else <laughs> and i think that's that's you know what i'll do just to make sure so that if there's any comments out there that hey he doesn't know what he's talking about you're right <laughs> you're, i need to go there and, and figure everything else out so yeah. I'll, I'll do that yeah yeah. Um, but just, just the, the, the concept of, you know, having the bottles and, and, and finding one is great because, um, you know, one of the thing and things I've, I've, I found interesting in the bourbon community is just people get excited about their collection. Mm -hmm. They found this, they found that. Mm -hmm. And usually, usually when you go over and you're having an event with them or, with you know with someone that's a bourbon lover one of the main rules is share mm -hmm. is it, it it's a it's an actual time to share and 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 show kind of what what's out there mm -hmm. what, what what you've tasted what you like um anywhere from a 18 dollar fine to you know the pinnacle whatever mm -hmm. but it's it's it, it's something where people don't don't um obviously there's certain ones that that are sentimental and you say okay i'm keeping this bottle i'm not opening it but you you want to share with others and that's that's the experience of it all right next up we've got one of your choices elijah craig's small batch 94 proof 29 dollar price point yeah around there 24 yeah, yeah. it's 20 it, it is a i would call a daily driver mm. it's 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 a, it's a it smells good this one this one is a favorite just because it's available it's it, it is just um i think well balanced and yeah. and from newbie till you know someone that drinks bourbon all the time it's 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 one that you can enjoy and and um yeah it belongs in every bourbon collection okay all right so the last one for the evening as you can see we've almost <laughs> uncle oh. <laughs> The Uncle Nearest 1856. What a story, right? Like this is this is a bottle that 
I was introduced to just because of the story of Uncle Mears and um, how he was really one of the pioneers in distilling mm -hmm. um, and how he, the story goes, even taught some of the more famous distillers or distiller how to distill. So that's, that's just another reason to do the bourbon trail. I think I think we're trying to decide which one's well, I'm trying to decide. <laughs> which one goes first? Bourbon Trail or, or Napa? Napa. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh-huh. Okay, so tell me what you like about this whiskey. Doesn't I, I don't I I'm not smelling the 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 bl you know blunt alcohol smell on it. I'm not either. But it is, I think. This is a hundred proof. This is a higher proof. So that's, that's one thing to look out for, so. I'll also say that 1856 is becoming harder to find. Like yes. the 1884, um, which is just a younger version, mm -hmm. I believe is uh, more readily available. So if this is one that you find and like, grab a couple of bottles. Okay. You know, it's a hundred proof, supposed to be around a 50, dollar price point right but i can't find it anywhere for less than 70 okay. if i can find it at all yeah and i would say it's you know it's, it's one of those like when you start getting into those those higher barrel proof or or <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> See what i mean I, I, I didn't get a chance to like warn her i was trying to warn her it's oh my <laughs> <laughs> wow. You know, when you start getting up, you know, above 100 proof, it, it is quite strong. It's it, it's smooth and, and subtle, but it is one of those that is, you know, it, it's perfect for the end of the sipping mm. because <laughs> you taste it, you're like, okay. Good night. <laughs> Maybe not good night, but you're you're gonna sit back and say, okay, this this one is um, it's good. Thank you. One more question. One more question. Best question of the night. Best question of the night. Wait. <laughs> okay. Are you ready? I'm ready. Wine or bourbon? Wine. I'm just the wrong answer. No, <laughs> I'm sorry. Cut. It's over. That was a great way to end this. <laughs>